Don't look at me like that. No, you can't come along. Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. We are about to enter the Valley of Fire. Come along and join us. <laughs> Can't believe how many people are here from the last time we came. The parking lot at the visitor center is packed. There's no drinking water available beyond this point. So make sure you bring your water. We are headed to the furthest end of the park so that we can hike the Narrows, a slot canyon in an area that we have not had an opportunity to be able to hike in from our previous visit here. We actually tried to make this hike before, but got caught in a bad rainstorm. And we're at the White Domes area. And we're going to try to hike back to the Narrows. This is where they filmed Star Trek Generations, where Captain Kirk died. So, let's go now! Okay, so we are here. And we're headed to the movie set. Very soft sand. It almost looks like pink Himalayan salt rock. Yeah, it does. But you said it's what, sandstone? Valley of Fire is located 51 miles from the Las Vegas Strip. Valley of Fire State Park is open seven days a week from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. But they do allow camping in the campgrounds. During the cooler months of the year, the park can become very crowded with people. And this particular hike is seems like there's a lot of people. See, I kept getting in, but it's actually a lot easier without it. <laughs> okay, you didn't get to cut yourself. <laughs> Good way to get cut. That's why you wear hiking boots. <laughs> this is a rough road here. <laughs> Are you doing it? <laughs> A, yeah, it's a pretty tough trek. Pretty tough trek down that hill. Including stacked rocks. Really? They don't even like stacked rocks? Isn't that a part of the yoga thing? You know, balancing? Who knows? We see them? The ruins area is actually an area that was built for a movie in 1965. And the main movie set was a Mexican hacienda. That was the last movie that was allowed to leave anything behind in the park. They left a part of the Mexican hacienda for the movie The Professionals in 1965. That's what that is. That's, a, that's what's left of the... The movie The Professionals in 1965 starred Burt Lancaster, Lee Marvin, Robert Ryan, Claudia Cardinelli, and Jack Palance. There's the back side. Go this way. Yeah, it goes this way and that way. Because we didn't go around the back side. Oh, okay. We went around the front side where we originally started last time. Okay. All right. The White Domes Trail is considered a moderate hike. There's a restroom and a parking area at the head of the trail. 
heading on down the road. She fell on her butt. So she's all dusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make sure you wear hiking shoes. This is not an easy task. Some of the rocks are sharp. They will cut. Not for the faint of heart. Yes, not for the faint of heart. Unless you have a first aid kit, which most of them don't bring. How are you supposed to go uh, I don't know. Did it say go right or left? <laughs> I am following you. So if you're lost, then I'm lost. Oh, look at the blue rocks. <laughs> Says the, it points this way. See the trail marker. So let's go this way. It goes this way and that way. Because we didn't go around the back side. We ran around the front side where we originally started last time. Blue rocks. Phosphorus rocks. I took one of these little rocks home, just a little one, and it turned gray, like I killed it. The phosphorus rocks depend on the soil that's here, and then they stay blue, and they even get bluer. It's pretty cool. Heading on down the road. These rocks are just breathtaking. The colors, the webbing, you know, the nooks and crannies. And this is definitely a wash. So if it rains, this is where it collects. You wouldn't want to be caught here when that happens. Oh my goodness. Now we got some of these blue rocks. And because of the phosphorus, they stay blue or green, depending on how you're looking at it. It's very cool. Look at all the webbing in that the red. I mean, almost like a brick red. Maybe made out of like adobes. The adobe brick. So behind you, that's the big domed rock. The making of movies and television in this area actually began in the 1920s. Over 45 popular movies and television shows have been filmed here in this area. Yeah. Yeah, so Spock or Kirk? Kirk? Kirk fell off of this rock yeah. in generations and died. Wow. Oh. oh, they did? Star Trek Generations was a 1994 film. Generations was conceived as a handoff from the original Star Trek cast to the next generation cast. This is our trail right here. <laughs> this is our trail right here, so I'm going to go through the trail. <laughs> This is this, this is, is your how, slot canyon. This is how you have to go. Here. Go ahead. Okay. The slot canyon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go see go the other way. See now this is this is the rock when you watch Star Trek Gen Generations. Uh -huh. This is the rock where where uh, Captain Kirk fell down or died. Go ahead and walk up there. It is like another planet. There's our trail up ahead of us. Oh, look at how cool this is. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is like another planet. 
I know. Look at all these little slots. I mean, it's just the layers of sandstone are amazing. It's so much like another planet that when they needed it, uh, the planet Mars in Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sharon Stone in 1990, they used Valley of Fire as Mars. The pictures here were Arnold Schwarzenegger and Rachel Tacote. The rocks are darker here. We're making it through the canyon here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Gotta watch where you're going. Lots of rocks. Everybody wants to stop and take pictures right there. Can you see it there? Yep. <laughs> there we go. It's all open. Wow. This is really cool. Very cool. Oh, wow. Can you imagine all the water rushing through? That would be crazy. Right? Oh. Oh, look at there. Yeah. Now, now we've only got the one person uh -huh. yeah. in the picture. And maybe if we wait long enough, we won't have anybody. Hey! Slot Canyon. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. We're going. We're going. There we go. Look if I go off to the side here. Oh. Hard to get a picture without somebody in it. Because everybody wants a picture in the slot canyon. That's why, because it's, that's a very cool thing. Alright. Can you imagine all the water rushing through? Yes. And then we're, we're headed down here. No! I deleted part of the sound so that you don't have to hear everybody screaming in the slot canyon. It's kind of fun to hear the echo and hear the voices because it all sounds so loud. Valley Fire is an amazing place. It's 45 minutes from Las Vegas. It's 46,000 acres. The park derives its name from the red sandstone formations. The Aztec stands sandstone formed by shifting sand dunes from 150 million years ago. I make fun of the trails because they lead up to a rock and you're supposed to climb it. It's really cool the way it looks. It's going to be a tough one. This is the trail. See, it says trail right there. <laughs> here, it, here it says trail. And right there, right there it says, I don't know where the trail is. <laughs> well, we'll go up the rock formations rather than the limestone, I think. What's your thought? Watch, 
What are you saying? Choose wisely. I chose wisely. God, look at that. Amazing. The sunset on here is beautiful. Back to the soft dirt. More trails. Trail, wood trail. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Follow along. This is the trail. Show me which part. This one is another. Follow, follow the footprints. Is what it is. <laughs> follow the footprints in the sand. It's hilarious. That's kind of cool the way that tree's growing out of there. Yeah. Right there. Oh yeah! Well, this one is another choose wisely, right? She's just growing out of the rocks. Wow. Everybody's hiking all over the place. You see people everywhere. <laughs> yep. Wow. I mean, you basically are clawing through all these rocks. You see people everywhere. <laughs> yep. I take little steps sometimes. Oh, what a hike. I wonder what my watch says. How many steps did I go? What was my heart rate? I think I'm gonna be drinking some water when I get back to the car. Look at my view. Amazing. Oh, here's another view of mine. Hello. <laughs> In walking out, it's less sandy. Ooh, but cool. Cool. I got this little hole right here. Almost like arches. It's very cool. You're gonna go over there? There you are. Windows in the sand. Sandstone, that is. It is like a relief map of the moon. Look at the little hole over there. That's why. It this is another portion that was used in the movie Star Trek Generations. So pretty. Look at that. 
the contrast of the colors. Different. No, I take the easier route. Oh, I see. That's what it is. I see that on the on your rear end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will be. So it's cool the way the sun is setting behind there. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. So, as we end our loop, it's breathtaking as sunsets on the rocks look like Mars or other planet or world, otherworldly. Look, maybe. Ramblin' Randy. Take a peek out of the rabbit hole. All right, go in. Goodbye. I like that. I like the coloring as the, the way the sun is hitting this stuff. It's like, is this crazy? It's crazy, amazing, beautiful. Yeah. What nature has in our own backyard, and we need to open up our eyes and enjoy the view. <laughs> it's like an advertisement. <laughs> Take time out to enjoy the view. Look at the clouds. Oh, they're just little wispies. But all the sunset on these beautiful mountains, in this valley of fire, in this beautiful state of Nevada, is just amazing. <laughs> oh, they made state parks. Stay on trail. Well, you have signs. The only trail I see is footprints. <laughs> well, then that's what you follow, because obviously somebody knew how to get out. See? Stay on the trail. Yeah. Well, the colors. It's sunset. Well, the sun is. Following the trail. Look at this one. Oh, I know. That's what I was taking a picture of. It's beautiful. And we're kind of, we're close to the road. So they're saying stay on the trail because of other wildlife. Could be a tortoise, could be a rattlesnake. Uh, <laughs> well, naturally, but you don't want to disturb the wildlife that's around here. <laughs> We made it. We made it back out again. And didn't have to go through all that sand. Yes. We're coming out of our car. <laughs> That's even better yet. <laughs> A view of the rocks in the sunset. I like that view. Uh, 
that's a pretty cool thing. Very nice to see. I had to stop. we were coming out of the valley of fire oh, breathtaking <laughs> He's got looking at everybody's trash right there. We came came across this bighorn sheep as we were about to leave the park. Bighorns are native to North America. This area has a lot of them. They're fun to see, but dangerous to get too close to. If you like this vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. We hope if we make it out of this. <laughs> right. Bye.